so it's not on a fancy plate or anything but uh week one or day, yeah week one day one so so far this is a 40 ounce i've had two of these today and i have had two glasses of green tea this is my last one for today and then for dinner today I have two pieces of salmon with some lemon garlic herb aioli and some blended vegetables or mixed veggies that were cooked in butter. Slowly introducing myself to the keto ways. Okay, you guys, so it is nearly three in the morning. So excuse the, you know, several hours old makeup but i just wanted to kind of uh check in with you guys so this was the pretty much we're nearing the end of my week one transition into my keto journey and week one was zero calorie drinks only i didn't film that much because i felt like it's just kind of boring because it's like okay water and tea who cares but like, I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and like my strengths and weaknesses during the week. So I think I did really, really, really good. I did not cheat once and I'm really proud of myself for that because, oh, let me tell you, it's funny because I, as much ju uh, juice and pop that I drink, I didn't really struggle with those per se. What was the hardest beverage for me to give up was actually milk. Really, bitch? Really? I know that might sound gross, but I'm one of those weirdos who like loves milk. So milk is definitely going to be one of the hardest things for me to give up just because it's so high in carbs, calories, and sugar. But what I did during this week was I have my Contigo water bottle and it is 40 ounces, as you can probably see. My goal was to drink at least two of those a day. So in the mornings, I would drink my tea. I did not add any keto products to it yet because i'm still eating carbs and sugars and stuff this week so it's like what's the point you know of adding keto stuff when you're not gonna go into ketosis it's not gonna do anything i just focused on drinking green tea and chai tea for energy so one day i would drink green tea the other day i would drink chai tea and um i did not hit my water goals every single day my goal again was to drink at least two of these i think there was maybe only three out of the six days so far that i've done that but i definitely have grown more accustomed to drinking more water and what's crazy is i'm already starting to see actual physical changes in my body it's insane i'm kind of shook so i had some like darkness on the back of my neck which is typically a sign of being pre-diabetic and just from one week of like cutting out uh the sugary drinks and stuff i've already noticed some of that darkness a significant amount has gone away it is insane to me that that has happened in literally just a matter of days i had no idea that I was consuming that much sugar like in calories that it had that or that heavy of an effect on me. I still have to succeed tomorrow, but I've been really praying and like thinking about my long-term goals and putting those on a more high pedestal than my temptation. And I'm really, really proud of myself for that. I know it's only week one and it's gonna get harder from here, but I'm really proud. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that. Good morning guys. So this is day one of week two of my keto transition and i'm about to have breakfast so i'm so excited my first official keto breakfast so these are the exogenous ketones that i purchased these are by the brand perfect keto i actually think i'm going to have these like as a snack instead of um with my breakfast because it recommends to do it in between meals i'm gonna drink tea and this is what i call my little keto counter or keto cabinet and i'm going to i got this from walmart it is expensive, it was like 12 bucks. This is a ketogenic creamer, claims to have MCTs um, and Himalayan salt, caffeine free. Excuse me. <sighs> Hopefully I have enough energy, I'm dead. Okay, so I'm gonna add in a spoonful of mayo to my eggs. That sounds so gross, I've never tried this before, but trying it today gotta be open-minded i saved some bacon fat from last night so i'm gonna cook my eggs in this
this is one serving. And is there a tablespoon in here? No, I don't know why I expected it. Okay, uh, for this to be $12, look at how much space. They got a lot of nerve. This should be filled to the freaking brim. I'm shook. Let's see how it tastes though. It's interesting. This this doesn't have any taste to it. That's okay. I'm so excited to try yes. these eggs. She might stop in the pot. She may have opened up some of her friends. Okay, so now I'm about to prepare dinner and I'm making a pork roast and using garlic, extra virgin olive oil, pink Himalayan salt, pepper, and then this Montreal steak seasoning. It's really good and it has no sugar, no carbs. Today is day two of week two, and I don't know if I plan on necessarily um, vlogging every day this week, but I stopped vlogging yesterday because I kind of got in the zone of like reorganizing my pantry and some of the, just some of the shelves, cabinets in the kitchen to make uh, my life, my new lifestyle more efficient for me when I cook and whatnot so i will show you guys that a little bit later i just finished breakfast and i had the same thing today that i had yesterday because i had enough to uh prep it for two days so with the exogenous ketones because i'm actually about to go and be out and about for most of the day i decided to go on ahead and have my ketones um i put them in my green tea today because yesterday i had them with just water they were disgusting. disgusting oh my god disgusting so it tasted so actually what i did was i did my green tea i did the creamer i did the ketones i don't know if i should have done both at the same time i'm still learning but i did those two and then i mixed in a little bit of truvia sweetener and it tasted much 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 better so from now on, when I drink it, I'll drink it hot. So I'm about to get ready to run my errands. I'm packing my lunch with me, so I'll show you guys my lunch in a little bit. So I have half of a cucumber and I put a little tahini on it. And then I have um, this chicken ranch with mayo and bacon in it. And then I'm going to have this half of this keto bar hey guys so today is day three of my week two keto transition and i it's 12 o'clock but i'm just now eating because i have a very long day ahead of me and i knew that if i ate too early i would be hungry throughout the day and then be more prone to making a poor choice in eating so today for breakfast i have um it's kind of jambled together, but I have um, scrambled eggs with the mayo and then summer sausage and then I have an avocado. For my tea today, I'm having chai tea. I have two bags. It looks really gross, but I have the creamer in there and this exogenous ketones again. So it's day three and I'm still not in ketosis according to the strips, the perfect keto strips that I've been using like not even remotely close which i'm kind of shocked by because i have been having like 
little to no carbs and I'm not going into ketosis and I don't know why maybe I'm just kind of excited and am expecting to be in it too early but I thought I'd be in ketosis within two to three days so maybe by tomorrow but today I actually got some fast food for dinner because I don't have enough time to cook dinner but I got a keto friendly meal um, from Qdoba I got a bowl and I, when I eat my dinner you guys will see what's in my bowl okay you guys so here is my keto bowl no beans no rice double steak and bacon and then I have um, the cheese pico de gallo I did get some onions I know onions can be a little bit up there in carbs but I also have some cilantro, my guac, and then some sour cream. I'm just finishing off my third set of 40 ounces of water. Hey you guys, so I apologize for the poor lighting, but oh my god, the keto flu has finally hit me and oh my god, it's bad, man. And on top of that, I think I'm starting my cycle. So I have like a double whammy. I feel absolutely horrible all over. I feel lightheaded, dizzy, nauseous. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I feel my menstrual cramps. I feel freezing cold, which is super not normal for me. Earlier I took, uh, I, I drank a cup of salt water and I have these keto flu, keto electrolytes. These were expensive. This perfect keto brand is highly, I, I just, they're, they're expensive, but it had good reviews. So I'm about to drink a cup of hot ass water cause I'm freezing cold. And I'm just, I think I'm just gonna go with this and then I'm going straight to bed. I was gonna try to like prepare for my cooking for tomorrow, but I, I have to get in bed quickly. So I'm ending today's vlog hey guys so um i did not finish yesterday's vlog because i got hit with my first dose of keto flu ever so i was feeling amazing until around five o'clock yesterday and then it hit me like boom i was shook from that point on until about two in the morning so I took a supplement, I drank a lot of salt water, I drank just plain hot water. I was devastated at how horrible I felt. So today I made sure I was hella prepared. I took two keto flu pills today, supplement pills. Um, I'll link the brand that I used below. And so far I've had zero symptoms. So I'd say they work. Um, so. I didn't even eat my Qdoba yesterday because I was just so shook. I didn't even want to eat anything else that day. Um, so I'm about to eat it now. I thought I was doing pretty good drinking two sets of 40 ounces, so 80 ounces of water a day. But because I'm bigger, I think that I need to drink um, 120 ounces a day. So that is my goal. And once I drink this, I will have completed that goal, so.